Hello everyone and welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a simple little, probably overly dramatic <laughs> look because that's usually what I do. Um, and I'm also just going to do a get to know me. So basically I'm just going to, you know, talk about my life and who I am so you guys kind of get a feel of who I am and what I do. Um, and right now that's pretty much all i have for an intro so let's get started so if you guys don't know me my name is darian but i go by dean i have been doing necessarily my own makeup for about hmm, since maybe like middle school so since about 2006 and honestly um my growth <laughs> Let's start it there. My growth has, oh my God, you know what I mean? Um, I have a lot of influencers that I follow that I really, really learned a lot from. Um, Nikki Tutorials, uh, Nima, uh, Jackie Ina, Arnell Armand, Alyssa Ashley, James Charles, Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, Manny Amua, a lot, okay? And these people have literally influenced my way of doing makeup in so many different ways and um, I honestly appreciate them for that but anyways uh, I'm 23 I have two babies I have a two year old her name is Araya I have a one year old her name is Mackenzie they're the love of my entire lives <laughs> um, yeah I'm pretty young to have two kids but God bless me with them so they're mine and yeah <laughs> but anyways um my love for makeup in general started when I was a kid. Um, I used to do like weird stuff with uh, like the little kids, like the fake makeup a lot. And I used to do stupid stuff like I used to put it all over my face because I thought it was funny. And then my mom would like come in and like take my stuff from me because I would literally have it all over my entire face. <clears throat> and so she'd be like, why are you putting that shit all over your face? And you need to go yeah. wash it off. I was like, maybe yeah. in third grade. Like, I've been fascinated with this stuff my entire freaking life. Like, literally. Um, I've been fascinated with this stuff like my entire life. And I knew that when I got older, that that was something that I wanted to do. You know, growing up. <clears throat> um, I'm going to have a link of a lot of the... Uh, the products that I use down in the bottom or well necessarily a description of a lot of the stuff that I have um a lot of the stuff that I have is drugstore dollar store but it all works pretty good so beauty supply type stuff it all works really well I mean you know I don't got the coin to go get the real stuff but I I do plan on um featuring a lot of uh you know not necessarily name brand but big brand stuff <clears throat> I do plan on featuring a lot of big name, um, name brand stuff uh, in future uh, tutorials. I just ordered the Morphe Jeffree Star uh, Part 2. Um, I didn't get the brushes, but I did get the Starberry Mist and the palette, and I am so excited to play in that. Um, right now, I do, however, have um, the James Charles palette. Please ignore the mess. Uh, my kids like to play in makeup, too. <clears throat> I also have some stuff from a uh, Juvia's Place that I use, but I think today I'm just going to stick to the James Charles palette. And uh, this beauty supply palette that I found, it's called uh, Nick, Nick, Kack, Nick, Nick Kack New York. Um, it's basically just 40 shimmers, literally, but they're all so very pretty and so very pigmented. And I will do a swatch test for you um, when I get to that part of the video. <clears throat> So first, what I always do, and you don't have to do it, but my comfortability is to start with my eyebrows. And uh, a lot of people that I, you know, watch, or a lot of people that I know kind of think it's weird to start with their eyebrows, but I think it's like the best step to take first because if you mess up with a full face of makeup, you're literally gonna have to wipe off and do it all over again. And so for me, that's kind of the best step especially because i used to mess up a lot like my eyebrows have literally went from bricks 
to semi good. I mean, I think they, they pretty fit me. I'll insert a clip in a second. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm gonna be looking into this mirror a lot. So just bear with me. But usually what I do is I just grab a spoolie and I flare them, I fluff them out, you know, to the desired, you know, area that I want them to be in and the, the direction of which the hair grows. And my brushes aren't name brand. These I got from someplace online. They're not nothing fancy. And I have two different sets in one little palette, but um, this is just a regular little spoolie brush, nothing amazing. And for my eyebrows, I don't use like an eyebrow gel, an eyebrow pencil, I don't need something like that. I actually use this little um, pigment here. This like dark brown pigment right here. Uh, this came in an Ulta box that my stepmom got for me for Christmas. And honestly, I think it's the best thing for me personally because it it's, kind of, it's thick and it helps the hairs kind of stay in place. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just a uh, angled brush like one of these like I said nothing fancy nothing major just regular little angled brush and I am going to go in and do my eyebrows um but yeah my uh my makeup life is very limited because of how much I work so I don't really get to do it very often and I don't really get to do many faces. Uh, my plan with that is to honestly get more models so I can do it more. I'm, I kind of want to, you know, expand in it. Um, I have a couple of things that I have lined up actually for me to really, you know, expand my name and get myself out there and, you know, kind of. Um, kind of get myself in a working field in this like kind of as a side job for right now um until i get a little bit better at it um i want to go to i want to go to makeup school to kind of get you know um you know more necessarily professional about it <clears throat> but until then i have been teaching myself for the last maybe 10 years, 13 years in my life, this based off of, you know, like I said, other YouTube influencers and things of that nature. Um, and you know, they've taught me pretty well. go that's one eyebrow completed and I will do the next eyebrow uh, closer up for you guys to kind of have a better uh, look at the technique that I use thus far
so it'll come out like so and I know they're a little uneven and I'm gonna clean them up in a second but that's just pretty much the technique that I use as of right now um, that works best for me that's just what I use you know for me uh, that works best for me and you know like I said I'm gonna go in I'm gonna clean them up to the best of my ability hopefully I didn't mess them up too bad And the only thing that's really wrong with this one is that this, the point isn't, sh you know, as straight as the other one. It's a little more curved, but like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that. No, my eyebrow technique isn't perfect. Um, it's actually not perfect at all. I can't tell you how many times I've had to stop and start over. <clears throat> I can't tell you how many times I have to start, stop and start over again and wipe them off, which is why I don't do foundation first. Yes. Which is why I always do them second. That's why I always go back in, you know, with my brush and my LA Girl Pro Concealer, like I did before, and I just clean them up and arch them to exactly the shape that I need them to be. Like I did on this side. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at the mirror that's above me too right now. I didn't carve the top of my brow on the opposite side because I didn't necessarily need to. Um, I only do it literally when I need to blend it out. And in this case, I didn't need to, but on this brow, I did. So. And, you know, whatever mistakes I made, I'm just going to go back and fix it. So what I do with the top brow is I kind of blend up into the forehead area because once the you know foundation comes on it's gonna all go away anyways right okay so I'm just gonna go in and fix what's wrong with the brow um so yeah that's basically my eyebrow step cut all completed uh like I said this is the technique that works best for me it may not work for you but it works for me and how I feel my eyebrows should look on my face and the length and everything my personal preference doesn't have to be yours um so next what I usually do is I go in with um I start doing my eyeshadow and eye makeup and um that's a whole nother situation in itself now my eye look is usually you know um something dramatic like I said so today will be nothing less but to be dramatic yay so what I'm gonna do is a recreation of the Jamaican look that I did a couple of years ago I'll put in the before picture and the today's picture because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be two totally different pictures what I'm gonna do is I've already primed my eye with the LA Girl Pro Concealer that I used um a little while ago with my uh, flat brush here and I'm just gonna go in and like buff out a few of the pieces that are uh, kind of patchy and like I said I kind of just blend out to my nose and what I'm gonna do is so the pigmentation of the colors are a lot better I'm going to set it with <clears throat> a white uh, pigment first I don't know what's going on with my brush right now y'all but uh i'm gonna set it with this pigment first 
not using that because clearly somebody messed it up. I'm pretty sure one of my kids did it. So I'm going to go in with a different like flat fluffy uh, brush and kind of just set it in place so it won't be all over the place and patchy. So um, yeah, basically just going to set the lid so the other pigments can lay on top and I'm actually going to use this brush this same brush to pack in the other colors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the shade B which is uh, the yellow color in the palette <clears throat> and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner here so how was you guys this labor day mine was pretty cool I got to spend time with my kids and my mom and my sister and I went to my godmom's house and me and my mom decided that we were gonna barbecue and just enjoy ourselves I had a little wine to unwind for the weekend because I'm off for the next three days don't mind me y'all I don't get that much off time Uh, my blender brush and just blend out the harsh lines and before you do that please make sure your blush is clean or you're gonna cut your whole eye look Okay, so now that I have carved that out, I'm going to go in with my pencil brush and redo the gradient all over again, except this time, that, that is one eye look all completed. So there's that. Let me wipe off my sweat. And I'm going to do the other eye off camera. And I'm back. Hello, everybody. So these are both eyes pretty much completed. Uh, I'm okay with it I guess but now we're gonna go into the face and how I do my base and the rest of my foundation and baking and powder and blah 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 and first with is uh, this wet n wild coconut uh, three in one primer uh, it's a water primer it is a prep set and refresh primer I really like it because it's refreshing and it smells damn good y'all so what I did to do is shake it up a little bit, give it a squirt or two, squirt my face, 
to go in with a beauty sponge and kind of just uh, tap it into the face so that it's kind of set. Um, and I kind of want to try this new technique that I've seen Miss Jackie I'm gonna do. She, um, I haven't tried this yet, so I kind of want to try right now just to kind of give it um, a chance. What I'm gonna do is I want to try um, and set my uh, primer, but I'm not done priming yet. So, what I'm gonna go in next with is the, excuse my packaging, I've had it for a while, going with the LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer, and this one is a, um, silicone based primer and it's kind of matte which is why well, I love it and I'm just gonna um, dab some um, dab some kind of all over my face kind of get it in the places where I need it and just slowly but surely get it all rubbed in all over the place Make sure to get my T zones and other areas needed. Get that all primed and shed up. Rubbing. And I really like this because it's not tacky and it has like a really soft feel to it. Um, if you let it sit for a second, it kind of gets a little tacky and um, let it set into your face. Like I said, I kind of want to try the uh, the Jackie I kind of want to try the Jackie Ina technique. Um, so I have this LA girl, this LA Colors uh, pressed powder in the shade tan, and I know I'm not light light skin, but I do have some hyperpigmentation in my face, as you can see. Like down here is brown, right here it's. A whole color dirt and then my forehead is all different colors whatever so i'm going to take my damp beauty sponge beauty beauty sponge beauty sponge and kind of go in and just set it into the face and i'm going to look a little ashy at first but it's going to be okay
that's kind of setting. I'm going to uh, go back in and contour this nose size. Okay, because listen, it is not here to play with y'all right now. Got that? Good. So what I do is I go back in with that big ass brush that I was using before and I blend it the fuck out. Okay? I blend it the fuck out. Every time the same goddamn way, I blend it the fuck out. And there it is, there's that nose. It's lovely. So, now that my uh, bake is pretty much set, I'm gonna go on with a big fluffy brush, like so. My pretty little unicorn brush, and I'm gonna bust the fuck away. Hopefully, it did not stick because I am sweaty. And now I'm gonna just go in and dust off the excess powder. I'm sweaty. I usually go in with this brown color here for my bronze because it's really pretty. I like it's this one next to it. It was really pretty. I kind of mix the two, honestly. When I use it as a bronze. I'm sweating on my forehead, so the bronze is kind of sticking right there for some strange, strange reason. And I just bleed it Blend out that harsh line that I have going on with my sponge. And there we go. A nice and bronze. Now for blush. I had a blush palette. I have no clue where the hell it is. I found it. Um. I'm probably going to go on with this peachy color. So I'm going to go on with that same little brush. I have a blending. Listen, I have a blush brush somewhere around here. My kids threw it somewhere, I'm sure. So I'm going to go on with this, like, peachy color. I like. I'm going to go on with the red, like, more, uh, Maroon color and put that on there. And usually, this color shows up rather well. I know a lot of people like to put the blush like right on the apple of their cheek. I do. That's better than just being especially for people with like I guess like overshaped faces like mine. Like it makes your face look right here. 
full. I usually just kind of push it all back. And then if I feel like it's too harsh, beauty sponge always to the rescue. Always to the rescue. Kind of blend it out a little bit. Give it just a little color to the cheeks. And now you can see. I look really red right now, huh? And for highlight, I have this um, NK Makeup Perfection Highlighter. Because there's so much stuff going on on in my eyes, I'm gonna do something really simple for the lip. Um, I'm going with this nude um, Beauty Creations matte lipstick in the shade Sweetheart. This is actually brand new. I haven't even used it yet. Um, I could use some swatches. I have a couple of these, so. Um, Here's a swatch that is um, the color Sweetheart. This is um, in the shade Kiss Me. Now, actually. I actually might use that color. That is the color Kiss Me. Actually, I am gonna use that color. Um, I have one in the color Obsessed, and I've used this one. This watch for you is that one. That's Obsessed. And, okay, this one is in the color Get Over It, and it is a nice, um red new color i've used this one already but um it is a beautiful red color actually that is get over it this is in the color infatuated this one kind of melts it though this is also a really like infernal red color i love it that is infatuated and this one is in the color Bare Naked. It's another new color that my child has destroyed and I don't even have it anymore. <laughs> this is a really pretty like peachy coral like pink color. I'll just put it on my finger and swatch it for you that way. And that is in the color Bare Naked. My children hate me because they don't appreciate the things that I have and the things that I love. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to use this color here. I don't know if I'm going to line my lips or not. I think I'm going to line my lips. I'm so sweaty, it's honestly disgusting at this point. Can't use that. So on this brush, I have some of like the brown um, uh, pigment that I use. 
to line my lips. I can't find the liner for it, but I'm just gonna use this to kind of just line the lip. I think you guys are very beautiful color. And I'm gonna go over with the little cheap little 99 cent of gloss that I got because I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. And that, my friends, is a full face all completed. I'm going to set my face one more time. And press that in and put all the powders and pigments and things all into the skin. And that is my full face all completed. This lighting sucks ass, so my nail looks kind of funny, but, and I'm sweaty, so everything looks like hella patchy right now, but I know it's going to make it look better. There we go. Now here's the look, totally completed, all done. I'm not going to bring you that close because I'm still sweating, but here's the look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed and I hope you guys come back to my channel soon to see other looks and also like I said please leave me content ideas down at the bottom um if I should incorporate my kids next time um if I do it in if I should do things in a different lighting um maybe even have a different way of filming just you know any ideas that you may have any um constructive criticism I could use that would be great and i hope to see you all soon also like and subscribe and uh hit that bell so you can know when i update again and um also i'm going to leave all my social media handles down at the bottom so you guys can follow me love you